Mississippi's ready to raise your vibration. I'm ready. How do you deal with change in your life? Resist it or embrace it? That's a great question. The only thing in life you can truly count on is change. Right. I worked somewhere one time and my boss said, if you don't like how it is, hang in there, it'll change. But just remember, if you really like it, that's probably going to change too. It is the one thing you can count on. Life is constantly changing, whether you're enjoying life or whether you're in a situation that you're not enjoying. If you just embrace whatever is coming your way, it, I believe it goes much smoother. I believe it makes life easier to embrace it because I believe when you're resisting the change, now you're all of a sudden not living in the now anymore. You're not in the present moment. So if you're resisting something, then you're resisting something that's about to happen or something that has happened. So So you're living in the past or the future mm. but if you embrace what has about to happen or has already happened then it puts you in the present moment that's really the only place to live from is right here right now that's the only thing happening is this present moment and it puts you back in that present moment so that you can enjoy life and just enjoy it for what it is and not miss any precious moments because you just taught me something. It's amazing. I, you, you blow me away. You blow me away when we do these things. You come up with these things that I've never heard before. Because what I never really put together, I understand being in the now, the importance of being in the now. And I understand the importance of not resisting change. I know not to resist change. But I never connected those dots that resisting change means you're not in the now because you're holding on to the past. I just never put that together. That's really true. Or you're dreading something that's coming the down the pike in the future. Create. Right. So you're dreading the unknown. You're dreading the future because the change, you don't know the results. What What is this change going right. to mean? Right. And let's face it. It's fear. Everybody's going, what is this change going to mean to me? <laughs> you know, right? Right. I mean, we're all selfish, so. Right. It's, a, you, you, it's like, everything's so great right now and, and I fear that this change is going to make things worse. Well, not necessarily. This change could make things better. It really could. Right. So <laughs> em embrace it and just take it all in. I mean, it, it's going to happen whether you embrace it or not. So you might as well just enjoy it for what it is. <laughs> the same exact day, same exact circumstances. Are you going to embrace that day or resist it? Yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's really the question. And if you are <laughs> resisting it, Try not to resist it too long because, you know, it, <laughs> right? these, these, emo these emotions, oh, yes. these don't emotions are real. So don't resist it too long. Right. Yeah. I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. Sometimes you need a little bit of time to settle in and get used to an idea, though. But don't resist it too long. That's good advice. I like that. So what does being in the now really mean? Eckhart Tolle has written an entire book on being in the now, the power of now. He's talking about being in that present moment and how important it is to be in that present moment. It puts your soul at peace. It makes you feel whole. It makes you feel like you're living. Once you do it, then you can get it. You know, when you take a deep breath, feel that breath go in, feel it go out. I mean, that alone puts you in the now almost immediately, then you will feel better. And it just puts you in, a, in your mind in a creative point where that's where the magic happens in your life, is well, in the now. Life is lived in the now. It is. Because life is not lived in the past. Even the last second that just occurred is already in the past. It's not lived in the future. Life is always lived in the now. And the now is normally fairly perfect. Right. So even if you have a big problem, this moment can be perfect. So no matter what kind of turmoil you have in your life, this moment can be perfect. And frankly, I think living in the now ultimately will reduce a lot of the turmoil in your life because sure. it makes you very productive and centered and creative and happier.
right? And it keeps you from focusing on things in the past and worrying about things in the future, which only bring negative things mm -hmm. to you. Or even looking forward to fun things in the future. If, you, if, you, if you're constantly looking forward to the weekend, then it takes you out of a space that's creative and fun and fulfilling right here, right now. So there's so much that can happen before the weekend. <laughs> that yeah, that could be great. It really can. Really so, great things. And you'll feel better about your weekend when you get there. Yeah, and one of the things you told me when we first met and we were dating and talking about various things was about embracing change, embracing new technology. Right. And you were, you were saying that embracing new technology keeps people young. I believe it does. I believe you once you, sh once people shut down new technology and refuse to accept it, then I believe they have aged a little bit. Mm -hmm. and technology is fun, and we should all embrace the changes that are coming into our lives mm -hmm. with technology and. It's coming whether you want it to or not, so you might as well embrace it and right. enjoy it. A lot of it's really cool. Yeah, embrace change. <laughs> Let us know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. Please subscribe, and if you feel like you're more armed for embracing change now than you were at the beginning of the video, then subscribe. We'll send you more. We really would love to hear from you. Have a zippy vibe day. Back in the bowl. <laughs> Back in the bowl. <laughs>